Hmm. Hi guys. So we are in the last round of our preparation and uh, many of you have asked me, sir, what are the things that I need to focus in the last round of preparations? So I thought that this video would going to be find you very helpful. And also in this video, I'm going to talk about the mock test, which were like supposed to start from this Sunday, but because of some reason that they could not happen on this Sunday. So, so sorry about that. And the video will also talk about when the, the mock test is going to start. But before that, let's go into what are the things that are required to do or you should do in the final round of your preparations. All right. So in the final round of our preparation, we have to do first thing would be that obviously going to be doing it is final kind of uh, reading. And when you're going to read it final times, which we call it like not final reading, I call it like final revision. In this final revision, you have to focus on few things. Number one thing would be whatever class notes that I had dictated you in the class, which you have the notes, which you have written. So read those parts for sure. Second would be in the uh, Shweta's Kaplan, whatever bold words are there on e any page, whatever bold words are there, apart from that, whatever highlights, underlines that you have done. And the last, uh, basically at the end of the chapter, they have mentioned some key concepts at the end of the chapter. So these are the to, uh, two things that you need to read like this thing number one to read and thing, thing number two to read thing number three is the most important thing the thing number three is whatever questions that you have solved whatever question that you have solved maybe from insured book maybe from the question bank maybe from our test the chapter wise test and the subject wise test whichever questions have gone wrong or whichever questions have come right just by fluke not by a thoughtful answer but by fluke those questions analysis, analyze those questions. That is going to be the most important part. Okay, so do this on a daily basis. Like find out key, like make a timetable for yourself and try to do it on a daily basis and try to finish this at least three to four days before the exam. So assume that okay, I think the exams of yours is, is like thing starting on what 22nd or something like that, I believe. So so let's assume my exam is on 25th. So in that case, I would stop this by final revision, I will stop it by August 21. I don't know what is happening. Okay, August 20. And I'll tell you the reason why. 22nd, 23rd, 24th. August 22nd, August 23rd, August 24th. What we are going to do it or what we will do it. I'll talk about that. But from today onwards, sorry, from today onwards, that is today is uh, August 8th. Till around that August 20 or 21. We have this around 13 days. So I believe you would be now not working. I mean, if you're working, I hope that your employer has given you a leave. And if not, take a leave. Now, you have a responsibility to yourself. Yes, I know you are responsible to your family. You are responsible to your uh, employer. But you have a responsibility to yourself also. So now it's the time that you give it to yourself. Now it's the time that you have to give it to your studies. So you have to be at your home studying at least 10 hours on a daily basis. All right, so like for this, you're going to be splitting the time for final revision, class note reading, Shweta's Kaplan, uh, basically whatever are the bold words which are there, highlights to read, Uske liye to you're going to give time. But apart from that, you're going to solve daily one paper in the online format. So there are total daily eight papers that will be giving it to you, which actually are nothing but those practice volumes, which the Shweda's Kaplan has given, but we have converted that into a, a digital format so that you don't have to look at that hard copy because actual exam is not going to be on the hard copy. So we have converted those all eight practice volumes into the digital format. Now the problem is this eight practice volume are of 90 marks. So that's how the Shweda's has made it. That's okay. I think not... Uh, 90. Uh, yeah, it's I think of 90 marks or some. I mean something like that. Like 120 marks, sorry, not 90 marks. I think 120 marks, which is fine. I mean you just take those papers for three hours. Okay, so what you have to do is let's say I'm suppose gonna start my revision today from August 8th. Okay, let's say tomorrow 9th, 10th, 11th. Okay, something like this. I will just do this part, the revision of all this part. I may not have completed everything, which is fine. On 12th, I will do this part also, like the final revision part also. But apart from that, on the 12th, I mean, I'm just giving example that I don't think so you would have uh, started revision now. But assuming that I, if I start a revision now, so 8, 9, 10, 11, I'll do a revision. And on 12th, 
I'll take a first practice volume walk, which is called as like exam one aim. Then there is exam one PM, exam two aim, so on and so forth. So I'll take that exam for three hours. And then whichever questions are going wrong, I will take a close look at it. I'll take a uh, mark it separately in my notebook. And I'll talk about it later on. So I'll separately mark that in the notebook. Okay, so I'm going around. But the target should be out of 120. We should target at least around like 67%, at least around 80. So that should be the target, 80 plus. Now, when taking this exam, you're at your home, so you're going to have your little comfort, as well as you might have a little disturbance from the family. But you would not be nervous when you're taking this exam. And in the exam, you could have a little bit of nervousness, but don't, don't, don't actually be nervous in the exam. But right now, Obviously, at home, you will be more comfortable. So I would say it should be at least a little bit around 82, something like that. 80 to 82 in this range, I'll be happy with this. So that's for each and every paper on an average. In some paper, if you get 75, it's okay. Some other paper should get 85, to, just to compensate that. And in the class, we are going to have at least two to three mocks. You should at least take two mocks in the class. Okay. Do not delay the mock. One mock should be like, even if your complete revision is not done, try to take one mock at earliest, which could be this Friday or this Sunday. I'll, I'll confirm that uh, timing will, will be either August 12th or August 13th. Or could be a little before that also. I'll just confirm that timetable. But at least try to take two mocks in the classroom so that you will not have that exam pressure. Okay, so I'll be taking a poll on this key. Uh, when do you want to like take it? But one day would be surely over here, and the second day would be mostly on 16th of August, so just to keep a gap of three days between this not on 15th but on 16th of August. So, this again, us maybe whatever questions are going wrong, whatever questions go wrong, uska separate analysis karna is a must thing. Finally, in the last three days, like my exam is on 25th, I said, so I'm gonna be done on 20 or 21st. Then on 22nd, 23rd, 24th, do not do anything new. Whatever thousand new question that you have solved, how come thousand, see this, 120 into 8, 960. And in the class exam, that's going to be around like 180 marks ka exam. So that would be like 540, around 1000 to 1500 questions you are going to solve. So usme whatever questions are going wrong, whatever 30 percentage questions are going to go wrong. So that would be around 300 wrong questions that you are going to get uh, uh, a data of now, like what you saw in the last around 12 days, analyze those 300 questions properly so that on the 25th, when you have your ex assuming uh, on the 25th, when your actual exam, you don't make those same mistakes again. That is going to be very important. Okay. And in this, you're going to again do the same thing what you did over here. Read the class notes again, because what happens is when you solve so many mock papers, now you again tend to maybe forget certain things. So read those class notes again. Read the Swedish Kaplanke bold words, highlights, key concepts once again. And again, try to look at few of the questions which have again been troubling you. See, it is not important to kind of uh, look at ki ye question mujhe nahi aara hai. It's okay. It's okay. Some questions might be like little bit tough. So it's okay. So what you should know is that overall, how am I scoring? Overall, if I'm scoring around 65, 70 percentage or even 70 percentage above, I'm doing really good. Okay, so stay very positive in this last around 15 days that you are having your preparations left with and make every day count. Give at least 10 hours on daily basis. I'll be there to support you. There are a lot of doubts which are uh, piling up. So I'm like busy with those and you will be getting my audio clips on the group. Do not miss out a single audio clip. If a particular audio clip is important, then only I'm putting it on the group. If audio clip, which I'm sending to a student, if it is not important, if I believe he, this is not in the interest of everyone, then I'm not sending it in the group. So I'm not spamming the group. Whatever is the important stuff, that only I'm sending in the group. So do not miss my single message on the group. Okay. Take care, guys. All the very best. And uh, we are going to do this and we are going to kill this exam for sure. Take care, guys. All the very best. I'm there with you. Bye, guys.